George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK. Hi, my name's George. Now I love food. You'll always find me knocking about the kitchen, experimenting with stuff. Okay, I I admit it. My cheese and chocolate chutney was a really terrible idea. But the other day I had a much better idea when I came up with the most amazing topic for my school project. (laughs) Hi, George. What are you doing? I've got it, Mum. Looks more like you've lost it. I mean, I've figured it out. The school project. I know what I'm going to do. It was when Mum gave me a bacon sarnie for breakfast and the bacon was crispy and the bat was all hot and soft and tasty. It was like... So you're going to do a project on bacon sandwiches? No! I'm going to do my project on grain. Grain? You mean the stuff they feed animals? How many pages are you going to do on that? You're joking, right? So grain makes flour. What does flour make? It's bread, isn't it? Tasty, fluffy bread. And then you've got breakfast cereals, cakes, and don't forget biscuits. They all started up as grain. Bread's pretty special, though. Come on. When you walk down the high street, which shop smells the tastiest? It's the bakery, right? OK, you're right. Everyone likes a warm, fresh roll and butter. So I thought I'd have a go at making some myself. Just another few minutes in the oven and it'll be done. Which explains the mess. Hey, be nice so you won't get any. And when I was trying to find out about bread, I found all this amazing stuff about grain. It's something called a global crop, which means it grows almost everywhere on the planet. And even where it's cold, people have found ways to grow it. Like in Canada, they grow cereal crops that grow really fast as they don't get much warm weather. So are cereal crops what? Things like wheat and oats and stuff like that? That's right. They're grasses that produce grains which both humans, and you were right, animals also eat. Anyway, there are many different types of cereals, but the ones we'll recognise are things like wheat, barley and oats. Flour from wheat is used to make bread and biscuits, whilst barley is mainly used as animal feed or by brewers and distillers to make beers and spirits. Wheat is definitely the king of the crops. Even in our little country, over 16 million tonnes of wheat are grown every year, which is the same way as more than 3 million elephants. So, wheat is the grain, and the grain makes the flour, which makes all the bread and cakes and stuff? It's like a chain, isn't it? In fact, I'll call my project The Grain Chain. That does sound like a pretty cool project. And your bread's actually smelling really good too. Don't sound so surprised. This is only the start. Stick around. Who knows what else I might cook up? George explores The Grain Chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK.